Today's video is a quick guide on how to do birdhouse runs. Now birdhouse runs might be something that you guys normally put off, but trust me, it's easy, worth it, and it's great hunter XP for those of you guys like me that hate hunter. Quickly, the requirements. You need to have completed Bone Voyage to be able to get to Fossil Island. After that, if you're an Iron Man, you need 25 construction to build a crafting table too, and eight crafting in order to make your clockwork. Now you need four clockworks in order to do a full birdhouse run, so keep that in mind. Not a big deal if you're a main, but if you're an Iron Man, you'll need to make those. For your equipment, it's recommended that you have Graceful, but honestly, this run isn't that big, so if you don't have Graceful, it's not the end of the world. Again, four clockworks if it's your first time if you've already made clockworks and done birdhouse runs before if you already have a birdhouse every single time that you loot from your birdhouse you'll actually get your clockwork back so you only really need four total forever four logs of your highest level we will get into those a little bit later a hammer, a chisel, 40 hop seeds. Again, we'll get into hop seeds later and what seeds you should be using. It does take 10 per birdhouse. A teleport out if needed, and a strong rabbit foot if you have one as well. That just increases your chance of getting a egg nest or a ring nest if it was supposed to be an empty nest. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the seeds that you should bring. You could either do 10 seeds like barley seeds or hammerstone seeds and things like that, or you can do herb seeds and only put five in. Honestly, it does not affect the loot that you get. So go ahead and do, you know, whatever's cheapest for you. For me, I have a lot of barley seeds, so I'm using barley seeds, but use whatever the cheapest seed is. Here are the type of birdhouses that you can build. Birdhouses go off your crafting level and your hunter level, and you need both of them to be at a high enough level in order to make the correct birdhouse. To start this, you actually need a level five crafting and a level five hunter, and then you can start birdhouse runs if you want and actually it's really good hunter xp when you start an early game and for me for example i am using magic logs so i need level 75 crafting and level 74 hunter and it nets me about 1100 xp per birdhouse that's why i said it's kind of a nice chunk of xp on birdhouse runs i also wanted to take a look at the wiki here and just go over a few things here's all the seeds that you can use again i would just use the hop seeds because they're just the best in my opinion and scrolling down there's a location we will go over that. Here is your chance and some rates at getting the seed nest. So you see the higher level that you are in Hunter, the better seeds that you're going to get. The higher chance you have of getting seeds, I should say, in a seed nest. And the better birdhouse that you make, the higher tier ones, the more chances you have at actually receiving bird's nest. So keep that in mind as well. You can get clue scrolls from the bird's nest and you can get ring nest, seed nest, empty nest, and also egg nests as well for you to take those to the woodcutting guild. And those are everything that you can get. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and show you where you need to be at in order to start this run. Over here on Fossil Island, you'll want to go west. And the easiest way to get to Fossil Island is honestly a dig site teleport. And it either takes you here and then you'll just run a little bit east. Or you can also take your dig site teleport other places around the island like up here at House on the Hill. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and start. So our very first location is over here to the west and there's the rowboat. So if you were to start the rowboat's over there and you'll just travel west and here is the birdhouse over here. You're going to go ahead and go to empty and we got 1100 XP in Hunter. So that was nice. Again, you're going to go ahead and use your clockwork on the magic log, put your magic log on the space and then do not forget to put your seeds in the birdhouse otherwise you'll be really sad when you come back in 50 minutes to an hour which is how long you need to wait before you can empty them 50 minutes to an hour but if you don't put your seeds in you're gonna have to put your seeds in to be that person so as you can see from that we got some feathers and only one bird's nest kind of tragic the next location is just up north so if you follow this path to the north you will find the next site And again, it really is this easy. It's kind of annoying if you're not used to doing birdhouse runs, but when you get used to it, doing it every hour or doing it with your farm runs, you know, a lot of people attach to their farm runs. It makes it really easy too. All right, here's our next one up north. So go ahead and do empty. You know, again, you get your clockwork back. That time we got two bird's nests. So we're making progress there. And actually, you don't even have to use your bird's nest on the space. You just click on the space after you've made your bird's nest and then put your seeds in the house. Again, put your seeds in the 
house. Next up, you want to go to the mushroom because the locations we are looking at will be down here at the mush tree and they are just right down here in Fossil Island. We'll go ahead and use the mush tree. In Verdant Valley is where we are trying to go. So in Verdant Valley, they are right here. And these are the last two birdhouse locations. So go ahead and empty out this birdhouse. We got a bunch of bird nests from that. Use your logs on the clockwork, click on the space, put your seeds in, you are good to go. Also, if you notice, if you put your seeds in, it looks like a little bird there. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Another visual cue on how to tell. And then run over here and empty and use your clockwork on the magic logs click on the space use your seeds and you are done that is it that is literally all there is to it and i do also just want to show you guys this tracker as well real quick so i've only done 28 birdhouse runs since i've last reset but that is the loot that you can see that i got from it every single birdhouse does drop 10 raw meat if that is something that you are interested in picking up so feel free to do that but that run we got 11 birds nests which is great for an ironman we got 120 feathers and we also got 4500 hunter xp which i know you can't see but i'm not gonna fix it because it's already set up how it should be that is literally all there is to it super easy birds house runs are something that you should do remember every 50 minutes to an hour great hunter xp especially at lower levels i gained a lot of hunter xp this way because i am not a fan of hunter it's just not a skill for me but if you guys have any questions make sure to leave them in the comment section below leave a like for the algorithm subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one peace Turn up the summer vibes. Get off your phone one time, would you come outside? Cause we all here chillin', yeah it's the same old same old same No we don't play no play no games, oh they wanna talk 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 Why they gotta hate on hate on me, damn But I ain't not trippin', I'm fly as a pigeon, this girl's been nice